Hi guys, my name's Daniel, and in this tutorial I'm going to explain how to use ZenServer's built-in deployment tool to create an application package, or more commonly known as a ZPK file, and then deploy it on ZenServer. A few words on deployment first. Deployment allows you to package an application and deploy it on ZenServer, making it available for users on the web. Packaging can be done either by using the ZenServer Supply Deployment tool, called ZDPack, or, if you're using Zen Studio as your IDE, with Zen Studio's built-in packaging feature. The application package includes the application's source code and any additional scripts you'd like to use during or after the deployment process. You define the parameters necessary for your application in XML format as part of the application package. Deployment can be carried out via the Zen Server user interface, but because Zen Server is entirely web service enabled, you can automate the deployment of your apps and integrate the process into your continuous delivery cycle. Zen Server handles all the web server configurations and other necessary actions to deploy the application. Once this is done, your application is live and available on the web at the URL you specified as your base URL. So let's get going. I'm going to first create a directory that will eventually hold all the resources of my application. What I'm now going to do is create a skeleton of our application package using ZenServer's deployment tool called ZDPack, which can be found under the bin directory in ZenServer's installation files. Just a small tip before I start, if you're looking for a reference of all the tools available commands, use the help command. So, in the directory I just created, I'm going to enter the ZDPack create command and the name of the application. Please note that there are small variations in these commands depending on the operating system you're using. So the skeleton package was created in the My Apps directory. Now let's take a closer look. The data folder contains all the source code of your application. In the case of this skeleton package, we've got a simple index.php file, a license agreement, and a readme. The scripts folder contains hook scripts that you can use during or after the deployment process. Zen deployment consists of five actions, two for deployment, one for rollback, and two for removal. Two hook scripts are provided for each action, allowing you to customize the different deployment stages according to your specific needs. Using these hook scripts is entirely optional, but they're very useful if you want to perform actions at specific stages of your application's deployment. We'll see an example later on. The third and last component of the application package is the deployment XML file. This file is the package's XML descriptor file and outlines all the necessary parameters for deploying your application using ZenServer's deployment feature. The descriptor file provided in this skeleton package is entirely editable and you should customize it according to your application's specific resources. Please remember, though, that some of the parameters are required, such as the app's name parameter. After making changes to this file, it's a good practice to validate it against the provided deployment XSD schema file, located in the share directory in ZenServer's installation files. So, using the zdpack validate command, I'm going to compare the XSD schema file with the deployment XML. Our descriptor files validated, so we can now safely package our application. So I'm going to enter the pack command and the name of the application. Hitting enter, the ZPK is created in the working directory. So we've got our ZPK. Let's open Zen Server and deploy it. In the Zen Server UI, I'm going to the Apps page under the Applications tab. In the action bar, I'm going to click the Deploy Application button. In the first dialog of this wizard, I'm going to click Choose Files and select the ZPK we created in the My Apps folder. Clicking Next, I'm going to go through the rest of the Deploy Application Wizard dialogs 
as they are being read from the uploaded ZPK. We could see all the parameters and dependencies that were outlined in the application's descriptor file. Clicking Deploy in the Summary dialog, ZenServer deploys our application. Great, let's take a look at our newly deployed application. Now that was simple, wasn't it? So, until now we've seen how to create, package and deploy the skeleton package. But how do I package source code and scripts into a ZPK? It's simple. All you have to do is copy your code and scripts into the skeleton package, customize the descriptor file, and create a new ZPK. To show you how this is done, I'm going to use a WordPress application. What have we got here? In the data folder, I've got all the application's source code. Taking a look at the scripts folder, I've got a post stage hook script with the job of writing the credentials in the WordPress configuration file and creating the database for the first server the application is deployed on. So I'm going to copy this data into the skeleton package folders. First the source code. Then the scripts. We now need to edit the XML descriptor file to outline all the parameters the WordPress application needs to be deployed correctly on ZenServer. First, I'm going to change the name and description of the app. And we can also change the version of the package if we like. This application has specific system dependencies that need to be validated before deployment. So I'm going to get rid of the default dependencies of the skeleton package and enter WordPress dependencies. Same goes for parameters. I'm going to remove the existing parameters and enter the user parameters required by the WordPress application. Let's validate these changes just to make sure the updated deployment XML has a correct and deployable outline.
Excellent. Let's package the application. Great, we've got our WordPress ZPK. Let's deploy it. Back in Zen Server, I'm going to go through the same deployment process. As we move from dialog to dialog in the deployment wizard, we're seeing all the dependencies and parameters we define in the package's descriptor file. Zen server is staging the application, after which our hook script will be writing the credentials in the configuration file and creating the new database. OK, let's take a look at our deployed WordPress app. That's all for now, guys. For more information on the deployment process and other Zen server features, check out the online documentation at www.zen.com.